In this experiment, I play the role of someone who is trying to get better at talking to people at parties, and ChatGPT is playing the role of everyone else. Greg, thanks so much for helping me out, man. I don't know anyone here at the party. Can you give me some tips about how to loosen up a bit? No problem, Tom. Just be yourself and try to find some common ground with people. Ask them about their interests or what they do for a living. And don't be afraid to join in on conversations. Oh, and maybe grab a drink to help you relax a bit. Sounds good. Who should I talk to first? Let me take a quick look around and see who's here. Then we can decide who to approach first. Oh, hey Greg, do you think I could ask these guys about which vector database to... All right, Tom. How about those two girls over there by the wall? They seem to be chatting and not too involved in any other conversations. Why don't you go over and introduce yourself? The two girls? Really? Yeah, go for it. They seem approachable. And don't worry, I'll be nearby and can give you some feedback on how the conversation went afterwards. It's a good opportunity to practice your social skills. Okay, let's go. Hi there, I'm Tom. How are you guys enjoying the party so far? Hi, I'm Alice and this is my friend. The party has been a bit quiet so far. I don't know. I'm not really a party person. What about you, Tom? Are you having fun? Actually, I'm not that much of a party person either. Yeah, sometimes parties can be a bit overwhelming. But it's good to get out of the house and socialize every once in a while. Yeah, and it's nice to meet new people too. Have you met anyone interesting tonight, Tom? Not yet. Um, you are the first ones I am talking to. Well, we're glad to be your first conversation of the night. So, tell us a bit about yourself, Tom. What do you do for fun? Um, well, I recently started creating videos about um, interacting with AI in VR and I post these videos on TikTok and YouTube and that has been quite fun. That sounds really interesting. What kind of AI do you interact with in VR? Yeah, and what inspired you to start making those videos? Well, I mean, recently OpenAI has released some really powerful AIs and I use those. And the reason is that I think right now it's really the time to show people how we can soon be able to interact with NPCs because they are really becoming quite intelligent. That's really cool. It's amazing how far technology has come. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting time to be alive. Have you thought about doing anything else with your videos besides posting them on social media? Hmm. Uh, I need to think about that. I will talk to you guys later maybe. Um, it was nice chatting with you. You guys have a great time. Yeah, it was nice chatting with you too, Tom. Yeah, take care and enjoy the party. Yeah, bye. Hey Greg, how do you think it went? I think it went pretty well, Tom. You seemed confident and engaged in the conversation, and Alice and Keiko seemed interested in what you had to say. One thing you could work on is asking more questions to keep the conversation flowing. But overall, I think you did a great job. Great. Who do you think I should talk to next? <laughs> Let me take another quick look around and see who's here. Then we can decide who to approach next. How about that girl over there dancing by herself? She seems to be having a good time. 
Why don't you go over and introduce yourself? She seems a bit intimidating, to be honest. I can understand why you might feel that way, but sometimes it's good to step out of your comfort zone. And who knows, maybe she's just waiting for someone to come dance with her. Don't worry, no. I'll be nearby and can give you some feedback on how the conversation goes. It's all about practicing your social skills, Tom. Mm -hmm. there you go. Hi there, I'm Tom. I noticed no one else is dancing at this party. Why is no one else dancing? Hey Tom, nice to meet you. I don't know why no one else is dancing. Maybe they're just shy or waiting for someone else to start the party. But I don't mind dancing by myself. It's a good way to let loose and have fun. Do you like to dance? Uh, I think I might enjoy it, but I don't really know how to dance and it's a bit embarrassing to start learning in front of all those people. Oh, don't worry about that. Dancing is all about having fun and expressing yourself. You don't need to be a professional dancer to enjoy it. And if you're really worried about it, we can dance together and I can show you a few moves. What do you say? That's really nice. A nice thing of uh, you to offer. I think I might take you up on it um, in a minute. I have to go now, but that's really nice of you. It was nice chatting with you. Thanks. Bye. No problem, Tom. It was nice chatting with you too. And if you change your mind about dancing, just let me know. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. Hey, Greg. How was that? I think it went pretty well, Tom. You seemed friendly and engaged in the conversation, and Hannah was really nice and welcoming. One thing you could work on is being more confident in your own abilities. Don't be afraid to try new things and put yourself out there. But overall, I think you did a great job. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, I think you've given me some really good tips. I, I think I'll spend the evening like practicing them. Thanks so far. That's great to hear, Tom. Remember, the more you practice, the more comfortable you'll become in social situations. And don't forget to have fun too. If you need any more feedback or advice, just let me know. Have a good time. Thanks. <laughs>